What up peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Starting off here at home, um, because I stayed home yesterday, I actually ended up, like, I slept in, so I stayed up late, ended up being too tired to go in this morning. Um, so Abby left. Um, obviously, Abby and Ryan are at the store right now. I'm heading in a little bit late. Um, here's these lights around the window. And for some reason, these ones blink. I don't know why. It's not an entire strand that blinks. It just randomly, it's one portion of a strand that blinks. None of the other ones do that. I don't know why. I'm assuming something just got mixed up maybe at the factory level and they put some blinking ones on there because these are like cheap lights and everything. So anyway, um, we are going to be getting a lot of stuff done today. I know I'm already going in late, but Abby and Ryan did a lot of stuff yesterday. I don't, I didn't watch the entire vlog. I edited the video, but I didn't watch the clips. Um, usually just edit the beginning and the end of them. Um, but Abby sent me a picture of behind the counter where they got it like really, really cleaned up. And uh, I have a lot of stuff to enter into the system. Uh, but right here at the top of the video, I wanted to mention um, that there was, there was an issue we have with the website um, last week, I think it was early last week where we had to basically roll back our software by a couple days and then redo everything. What that did to the website was it duplicated some items. So a lot of things would say we had two of them in stock when we only had one. That issue has been fixed, but something else that the issue caused, it's really confusing. Basically there were some items that were not uploaded to the website um, that you guys were interested in, primarily the Contraforce box, the Bomberman 2 box, the Power Blade box, and a bunch of other stuff like that. Um, so that stuff has all been fixed. Those things are now on the website. So if, if there was something you were looking at that wasn't up there, I would maybe check again today. Um, also, all of the trade-ins that we've gotten from like mail and stuff, all the packages we've opened, the stuff from GameStop, all that stuff I should be entering in today in addition to the big Hyperkin order. Um, we just got, I haven't even showed you guys that stuff because it's mostly just stuff we've already, we've already had in stock. Retron systems, which those don't get sold on the website anyway, but like third party GameCube controllers, cables, stuff like that. Um, so I have a lot to enter today and I'm planning on getting all that stuff done. I'll be able to work in the back and do that while uh, Ryan and Abby handle things out front. So Abby got me some beef jerky from Butcher Boys the other day. This is all I have left. I've eaten a lot of it, but uh, yeah, she also got in the fridge, she picked up a ham for Thanksgiving. My parents always get like a free turkey from my dad's work and my parents don't really like turkey. So my mom just cooks it and gives it to me. And Abby and I don't necessarily really like turkey that much anyway, but we love turkey sandwiches. Um, it's like a leftover turkey sandwich from Thanksgiving is like my favorite type of sandwich in the entire world. But, so we already have like that turkey coming, but, well I can't pull it out, but there's a giant ham in here that Abby got from Butcher Boys, which is going to be really freaking good. I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna get to the store, guys. Uh, we'll film any trade-ins that come in. Um, we shouldn't have any packages today since it's Sunday. Um, but yeah, we're getting some stuff done today. I'm at the store now, guys. Got Abby and Ryan. Yep. And Practically dead. there was no one here when I got here. Like there was no customers. And that lasted for like 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden it got crazy. Yeah. And we had like, I don't know, seven or eight different trade-ins and there was a crazy some really really good stuff yeah. definitely one of our better trade-in days for like the past since we've reopened probably our best trade-in day i would have to say yeah i don't know like quality wise it's just crazy crazy stuff yeah so we're gonna look at that once we can um i don't think we're gonna have time in between customers to go through everything so we're probably gonna Unless take a look go at the end of the day so. yeah i mean who knows but it was like crazy busy there was how many people were waiting outside 
to get in. Like four to five people, like four to five people waiting people outside. Like plus, we had six people in here. That was a problem. Like a couple would want to get in, and it's like we can only fit one of you guys in, and then a single person would get in, and then the couple would be like, "Yeah, they can go in," and then two people would leave, and then you can still only get one pe person in. Ugh, it was a pain. It was pretty crazy. But on a great so. side note, I got my favorite Pokemon, hand drawn by Edward, and none of y'all got a hand drawn one. But I did. Mm. <laughs> Edward is our favorite customer. He is our favorite He is customer. the one who drew this. And drew he drew this. And he drew our stickers. And he made us these little stickers. I put mine here. Mine's a shiny Arcanine. Mine was a shiny Gyarados. Yeah, he made and all of us one. Even Jesse. Mine was an Oddish. And it is on the back of my Nintendo Switch Lite. Yeah. He's a very nice kid. He's, I think he said he's in like sixth grade now, which is crazy. He seems very much younger than sixth grade, but he's super nice. So, um, we're going to, we have to, we have to still sticker everything, um, and get it cleaned up. There's stuff everywhere, but there's some really, really cool stuff in here. So we'll take a look in just a second. All right, guys. So for consoles, we have a fat PS2 came with a network adapter. We have a Super Nintendo, an N64, two NESs, and then there's like all these controllers and stuff. There's also a big stack of Nintendo Power magazines, mostly newer ones. I'm going to go through and see if I need any of those. And then, were there any other consoles from earlier, like before? Consoles, uh... Are these from... Oh, no. we need to take care of that oh, still. Shoot. Yeah. Uh, that's a repair for someone there. The buttons are sticky. Are these these aren't from today, right? No, they were just back behind the counter. Um, okay. Look at this mess. I can't really remember. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god. It's getting messier. It's horrible. Uh, that might be all the consoles. There was a Dreamcast. Okay, there was a Dreamcast. Yeah. And also a white DSi. And then we have all this stuff. <laughs> Couple manuals here. There was more than just this. I don't know where the other ones are. There's some stuff right here. And then we have Steam World Dig 2, which is an awesome game. Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Trine 4 for PS4. For the Nintendo Switch, we have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Breath of the Wild, Resident Evil Origins, God Eater 3, Wonderful 101, Fire Emblem, Dragon's Dogma, Bomberman R. Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Valkyria Chronicles 4, World Ends With You, Fate Extella, Monster Hunter Generations, Ultimate, Sonic Mania, and Collection of Mana. Then, I guess we'll go over here, for Nintendo 64, we have Cruising USA, 1080 Snowboarding, uh, Ken Griffey Dreams Major League Baseball. Is that the right price, Ryan? Yeah. That seems a little high. We'll double check that. NBA Live 2000. Star Fox 64, Super Smash Brothers, another cruise in USA, All Star Baseball 99, Star Wars Episode 1 Battle for Naboo, NASCAR 2000, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Diddy Kong Racing, and All Star Baseball 2000. For NES, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Solstice, Alpha Mission, Video Mation, Mission Impossible, NES Play Action Football, Xenophobe, Swords and Serpents, Donkey Kong Classics, Willow, Final Fantasy, Xanak, Double Dragon 3, 1943, Kings of the Beach, Life Force, California Games with all the label ripped off, Double Dragon, Tetris, Star Tropics, Ninja Gaiden 2, Robo Warrior, and Dragon Warrior, and Exodus Ultima. We have some pretty cool strategy guides here. We have the Super Game Boy 1, Top Secret Passwords, Player's Guide, Star Fox 64, GoldenEye, Link to the Past, Donkey Kong Country, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, Lord of the Rings Return of the King, Secret of Evermore, and Star Wars Rogue Leader. Um, there is a second Secret of Evermore one, but it's got some pages like ripped out. So I didn't put this one in yet because I need to see if it's all there. Um, and then, so, these strategy guides, Donkey Kong, Link to the Past, the Golden Eye, the Star Fox, I'm going to be taking those home and 
Um, cause this, the only part of my collection that's not cataloged is strategy guides. So I'm going to see if I need any of those. Um, I really want the Zelda one and the Donkey Kong country. I'm pretty sure that I already have these two and I'm pretty sure I have these as well. So we'll see. There was another strategy guide that came in that I definitely do not have, which we're taking home. You'll see that in the next pickup video. <laughs> Ryan wants it. <laughs> then we have Batman forever, Mortal Kombat and art of fighting for Super Nintendo. Sonic and Knuckles, College Football something 2, Tecmo Super Bowl 3, and NHL All-Star Hockey for Genesis. For the Wii, we have Wii Play, Wii Fit Plus, The Simpsons Game, Wario Land Shake It, Mario Galaxy, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii. For the Xbox, we have Gears 5 and Gears of War 4, and then also NBA Street Volume 2 for the original Xbox. Disc-only copy of Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast. For PS1, we have Hooters Road Trip, Need for Speed, Final Fantasy IX, Dukes of Hazard, Ridge Racer, GTA 2, Gran Turismo, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX with the manual ripped, All-Star Racing, Legend of Dragoon, and Final, Final Fantasy VII. Then we have ATV Offered Fury 2, Gran Turismo 3, Ratchet and Clank, Jedi Starfighter, Lord of the Rings, ATV Offered Fury, Lord of the Rings, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, NFL Street, Lord of the Rings Third Age, Dragon Quest 8, NFL Street 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, NBA Live, Extreme G Racing 3, Jack X Combat Racing, Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy, Tag and Tag, Dragon Ball Z, Madden, Suzuki Super Bikes, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, Hot Wheels, and Harry Potter Quidditch. And now, on to the real special stuff. So, we have Super Mario Bros. 2, complete in box. Zelda 2 Adventure of Link, complete in box. No styrofoam, but other than that, it's all in there. You can see it. Gyromite, complete in box. It's a little rough, but it does have the hang tab and everything. And we have an N64 memory card, complete in box. 007 GoldenEye, complete in box. Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey, complete in box. And we have an Ocarina of Time Collector's Edition, complete in box, in really, really good condition. Kind of an expensive one, but that's super awesome. And then we have a Super Nintendo controller. Ryan wants this one, though, so he'll probably buy that. We also have an N64 Rumble Pack. It's missing the cardboard insert, unfortunately, but the actual thing is in there. We have an NES, uh, an NES Max controller in the box. Did Ryan want that one too? No, I'll pass on that. Okay. So that's there. And then we also have a Game Genie for the NES. This is a box upgrade for mine, so I'm going to bring my other one home, or bring the other one back here. And then we have... I might get that. Ryan wants this one. We have Donkey Kong Country, <laughs> complete in box. It's in really, really nice condition. Yeah. Then we have Secret of Mana. This one does not have a cartridge, unfortunately. Um, I have a cartridge. <clears throat> this might actually be box only. <laughs> I don't remember. Let me check. And then I think there's more. <clears throat> we have Secret of Evermore, complete. And then guess what? We have another Secret of Evermore, complete. <laughs> one person had two complete so, ones and two strategy guides. So the... Secret of Mana is complete other than the cartridge. So I might have to double check that because I might have put it in the system as box only and priced it as box only. I'll have to double check. Then we have Super Star Wars. This one is also going to be a condition upgrade, so I'm bringing my other one from home. Same with this. Soul Blazer. This does not have a cartridge, unfortunately, uh, but it is going to be a condition upgrade for mine, so I'm going to swap those. Then we have Clue. This is complete in box. And then lastly... I can't believe the price on this. We have a Crazy. complete inbox Chrono Trigger. God, it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, I was extremely surprised about what it's going for. My guess yeah. would have been like 300 to 350 We haven't had one in quite some time, but this one is actually in really, really nice condition. Yeah, it's really nice. So I'm sure this will not last very long. There's a little price tag on there, an old one that you can probably get off pretty easy. This is currently missing a cardboard insert, but we have one we can put in there. And there's a small rip right there. But other than that, it's in really, really nice shape. It's got yeah, both the posters cool. or maps or whatever. So that is super, super freaking cool. Very cool. Some of you guys are crazy. We already have sold two of the strategy guides that came in today. 
and four of the boxed games. Uh, the GoldenEye, The Secret of Mana, The Super Star Wars, and The Major League Baseball for N64 have already sold. And then from the strategy guides, uh, we sold The Secret of Evermore one. And one other one, I can't remember what it was now, I already packed them up. Um, so I do have some packages going out. We got these right here. And then there were some more, so I'm assuming that Abby grabbed them on her way out. Um... But yeah, so it is 9.42, finally heading home. Uh, you guys know we close at 7, so I've been here for a little bit, just getting some shipping done, getting, you know, getting some stuff taken care of. I didn't get to enter anything new into the system today, meaning, um, like, all the games that are in the back uh, that we've gotten in packages, gotten from GameStop packages, none of that stuff has gone up yet. My plan was to do it today. I did not expect us to be as busy as we were. So unfortunately, I did not have time. But tomorrow is Monday. We're going to be a little bit slower. I should have time to get that stuff done. So that is my plan. That is the goal. Um, I did not go through the Nintendo powers yet to see which ones I need. I have the list on my phone of the issues that I still need. So I'll do that tomorrow. Um, and one of the strategy guides that sold was actually one of the ones I was going to take home and see if I needed, which now that I'm looking at them, I remember it was the, it was a talk top secret, uh, whatever the Nintendo power one, not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I had that one anyway. So I'm going to gather my things up here. I have a box to take home. You can't see what's in it. You got to wait till the next pickup video. Uh, but also in there is... Uh, some of the stuff that I'm just com uh, comparing condition um, for my my personal copies. Um, and then this is really cool that came in. I don't know when or if Abby showed this. I think she said it came in yesterday. That is my number one favorite PS2 game, if you guys didn't know. Um, it's a fantastic action RPG. Up to four players, too, co-op, which is awesome. So I'm going to get my stuff gonna try to put some of these packages in the drop box but um we should be getting some packages delivered tomorrow so uh the mailman should be stopping by and i'm just gonna give them to him whatever is left over so that's going to be it for today's vlog guys um it's almost 10 i'm just gonna go home get this thing edited i'm probably gonna work on uploading some pictures to the website as we watch criminal minds that's what i've been doing every night and uh tomorrow we should have a bunch of new stuff on the website when I say tomorrow, that's tomorrow for me. That is today for you guys watching this video the day that it goes live, since the videos go up a day late. So, probably not by the time this vlog goes out, because the vlog goes live at 1. We don't even, you know, we don't even get here till like 11.30. Um, so, it's going to take at least a few hours to get some stuff done. Um, don't usually start right when we open, because there's other things to, to handle first. Um, so... Like, a lot of people kept asking about Contra. We got one Contra traded in today. It has already sold on the website. It sold real fast. Um, I have two more. Two more in the back that I have not posted yet. So that stuff should be going up tomorrow. Check on the website later today. And uh, it could be there. So... That's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.